Luigi! Your name's Luigi, isn't it? That's what I heard from your friends who just arrived. Luigi, it has such a nice ring. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shucks. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something, so you'd best hurry on over there. I do what I want. Hello, everyone. My name is Hyrule Fish. And I'm Katatui 101. And welcome back to Super Mario Luigi, whatever it is, Galaxy. <laughs> so you get introduced to the Toads now, and each one kind of has like their own little personality trait. So, for instance, Mr. Luigi, check it out. I'm a male toad. Male toad, and I have a letter for you. Dear Mario. <laughs> It's addressed to Mario. Don't be upset, Luigi. Hang in there. Mario's hey. off playing golf. Hang in there. You hang in there. So she normally includes five one-ups for if you're playing Super Mario Galaxy. If you're playing Super Luigi Galaxy, you get 20. Oh my god. She and really his, uh, has such little faith in you. And uh, this, would you like them now? He means would you like them at all? Because if you say no, then the toads just take them for themselves. <laughs> Even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. Well, come see me next time there's a mail delivery. Awesome. All right, more lies I don't need. <laughs> this is the sleepy toad. He's normally asleep. So it's kind of weird to see him awake. Oh, uh, yeah. He's I imagine that he's got just dark bags under his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is Captain Toad. He's kind of become a big character. He has his own spin-off game and everything. Oh, that's the Captain Toad? Yeah, he's blinding me with his light. <laughs> he likes to do that. We're all in this together. <laughs> Leave it to me. Uh, this is the smart toad. He will try to help you, I guess. Be try to help you figure shit out. He's smart because he has glasses. That Rosalina lady. Show some respect. Who is she anyway? She's not a witch, is she? Is she? No, that's ridiculous, right? He's also kind of suspicious. <laughs> and uh, this is the digger toad. He digs. With his pickaxe. I'm digging. The Lomas are going to pick a, build a ship. When it's done, let's go look for Princess Peach and the Power Stars. Yes, this is actually really cool. They're building a uh, Star Shroom, which is a spaceship we'll see a couple of throughout the course of the game. But I kind of like how uh, you come back and check in here at different points at the early stages. It's like more finished than it is now. I like that too. <laughs> it's just a nice little touch. All right, so let's go right back to the Honey Hive Galaxy, shall we? Go back to Terrence. He has more missions for you. <laughs> Terrence. <laughs> Is that just the name of the first dome now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got our uh, second mission here, Trouble on the Tower. The Tower of Sauron. <laughs> there are a lot of troublesome towers in Lord of the Rings, like Saruman's Tower. You know, I always thought the Two Towers was a weird name. Because yeah. I didn't really think they were that relevant to the story of that movie. Yeah, really, they just kind of stand on top of them and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I don't even remember, what, what the hell did Saruman do in that? Saruman... I don't even know. He, he he was a good guy, and then he was bad. Why would you name your kid Saruman? Like, yeah, if there's a villain named Saruman, that'd be like, name your kid Hitlermon. <laughs> <laughs> this is little Hitlermon. <laughs> uh, this rock just fell from the sky. It nearly crushed me to death. That reminds me of a nightmare I had when I was a kid. Well, every time you see those rocks, you can ground pound them. And do tell about your nightmare. <laughs> I had a dream that like apparently once every hundred years or something giant boulders would rain down from the sky and then what? it actually happened in my dream and so i remember i went and hid in the woods it was weird i have really weird dreams yeah, exactly safe from boulders yeah i don't yeah i don't know oh, why i didn't hide in the basement <laughs> that's all i got that was lame <laughs> i kind of like if you watch this be here he's like ground pounding see like, i can ground pound too <laughs> i'm practicing my dive bomb you keep working on b you can do it. One day. <laughs> Focus in tight. <laughs> oh, he's <flat. laughs> Katie, what are you doing to that poor piranha I'm plate? trying to erase him from Smash. Trying to hold him out of Smash? <laughs> oh, look, there's two stacked up. Too bad it's nothing for me, my feet. <laughs> I like how there's kind of like teaching about ground pounding here as if like you don't know yet. Yeah, like if you hadn't figured that out by now, you'd be kind of stupid. It's not that hard. Look at this. Look at this. He like, he runs away from me. See? Oh shit. That's a Luigi. I don't like Luigi's. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> he over. faints. <laughs> he's so terrified. But when you go and be, he suddenly like wants to attack you. Oh no. Don't piss him off. He's scary. I won't. Wiggly's my friend. <laughs> I like Wiggly Worm. Can I poke him? Yeah, if you want. Let him <laughs> walk there. Try to let him get to the other side of the side. I don't disturb him. <laughs> oh, I still got him anyway. Damn it. Oh no. I'm gonna get out of here before he wakes up. Oh god. Oh god. He'll be mad. Let's just, let's just pretend that didn't happen. 
I thought you were the I was gonna die there when I first played this. Really? Yeah, I thought it was gonna fall down. Yep, it's me, the famous Gilboard. If you wanna climb this wall, you better listen up. When you stick to the wall, blah 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 blah. He's just hung on a wall jump. You I do can like jump. I do like how it's Gilboard. There's Gilboard. also like uh, Phil Board and Joe Board and also Bill Board. I mean, he's of the course. obvious one. Ah uh, yes, Richard Board. <laughs> Richard Board. What well, is Gilbert Board? <laughs> Are they brothers? Gilbert, yeah, are they? I don't know, I always assumed they were. The brothers are related. <laughs> See, now you have to, uh, wall jump. I don't mind if they teach you this stuff, because, I mean, for some people this might have been, like, their first time ever playing a 3D Mario. It was the first <laughs> one I owned, so... It I mean. was my first 3D Mario, so... <laughs> you still figured out a lot of the controls on your own, because you ignored yeah. the tutorials. Yeah, I did do... I had a bad habit of just not reading tutorials. I kind of like, uh, like these plants look like top hats. Oh, well, they do. They kind of look like mushrooms, too. kind of look a little phallic, actually. Oh god, now I'll never be able to unsee that. <laughs> what do we have here? It's another wiggler. Oh! Oh, and a star. Awesome. Kill all of the piranha plants. Yeah, keep them out of smash. <laughs> we don't need you and your generic enemies. Oh, I'm not running this time, so I'm not gonna not get the 30 star bits. <laughs> or whatever the Mario wiki said. I'm gonna leave the wiggly worms alive, though. They're my friends. Oh, darn, I like to kill them. Okay. They, they make me uneasy. Okay, fine. They're very easy. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! You just saw all of his guts go flying out into outer space. It explodes! <laughs> I did not know he did that. Yeah, that was kind of the last thing I was expecting. Damn, that was a long fall. Yeah, probably just broke Luigi's ankles. Oh, look, it's Queen Bee. Yeah, she's so big, she has her own gravity, remember? Those Mandy Bugs. Oh, those Mandy Bugs. The Billy and Mandy Bugs. Billy? <laughs> oh shit, I almost fell off. Oh my god, don't do that. Do you remember when we were climbing on the queen bee? Like, she, if you jump off her, she has her own gravity like the honeycomb. It's because she's so fat. She's, she is her own planet. <laughs> she's might as well. She's bigger than the planet. Uh, look at this bug. Look at this bug. Oh, he's guarding that. He's like, oh, get off me. I don't like Luigi's. Oh, shit. Oh, ow. He bit me in the butt. I got comboed. Uh -huh. take, take that, stupid bug. I didn't know that you could change the direction of your ground pounds. It's the homing ground pound. Uh... If you spin and do it while you're spinning, he just like, Whoa, has a really cool pose. <laughs> kind of, he doesn't really use his butt then though. He like uses his feet. Hmm. Sounds like what hurt. Yeah, ground pounding just doesn't sound very comfortable. What am I supposed to do here? That away. Bug boy. Go kill the Billy and Mandy bugs. Dead. <laughs> Were they all Mandy bugs or is it just like the ones at the top? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't really specify. I thought it was all the purple ones. I need more of a backstory before I take out your enemies, B. <laughs> What's my motivation? Yeah, how do I know that you guys aren't the bad guys? <laughs> that looks like a giant stack of pancakes. The windmill. I could go for some pancakes. I think I'm really hungry right now because I'm seeing food and everything. Hey, look, there they are. Oh, that's Billy and Mandy. Yes, yeah, it's the bugs, see? <laughs> Let's just kill the baby on top. Oh. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> its eyes are huge. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't like a baby, ma'am. Oh, you, ooh, you pissed her off. I know, she's mad. Oh! Oh! She, you really made her <laughs> upset. <laughs> Don't mess with Mandy. She, does, she does not like when you fuck with her child. I don't think any mother would. <laughs> well, she is dead now. Yeah. I reverse she's not orphaned her. Back. Look how mad she is. She's like, she's like, still red. Well, I don't blame her. How would you feel if someone just murdered your baby? Ow. Ow. She's pissed. actually fucking me up. <laughs> this is depressing. Uh, this is. What the? Man. This is not our first run through this, and like, I beat her. Like, I just ground pounded twice, and uh, I, I didn't get hit. I don't know what happened this run. Queen Bee is just watching back there, like, oh, Luigi. Shaking her head. She's like, this is the easiest boss in the game, Luigi. <laughs> All right, so now we have our final mission at uh, the Honey Hive, the Big Bad Bugaboom. Oh, that's what I call my cat, Buggy. Oh, the bug cat. Yeah, he's my Big Bad Bugaboom. He's actually <laughs> smaller than your other cat. Yeah, he is. Look he's evil, bee. though. Do you see that bee freaking out? Ah! He doesn't like Mandy. I really like how the music's all sped up and frantic now. Same, that's a nice touch. I suppose there's like bugs all up there and like you can't even get up there in this mission. They are all up in your grill. I know, they're everywhere. Uh, <laughs> oh, the whole Mandy Bug clan is invested in our kingdom. It's a whole clan now. Jeez, I was not told the politics behind this. <laughs> I was not told about this, the potential of an invasion. President Mandy Bug is dead. <laughs> that's why they're pissed, because you killed their leader. And I murdered their leader's child. Yeah. Maybe I should have been trusting these bees. You can't trust a fat bee. <laughs> Where is my cursor? Do you know bees is. actually are fuzzy like the queen was? Oh really? Yeah, you can you can pet bees. 
You can. I do not take responsibility if you go up to a bee and try to pet it and it stings you, but I've done it. If they're like eating on a flower, you can just pet them. <laughs> oh, the neighbors are causing trouble again. We will be most grateful for your assistance. Okay, as long as we don't have to crawl on you again. So what would happen if I just like jumped down there instead? I wouldn't try that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a bath down there. I think there's a black hole right there. That would probably suck me up. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if she sells gravity then. She might. Maybe. You know, bees are actually as fuzzy as uh, the queen is there. You can pet them and they're like soft little Aww, fuzzy things. That sounds kind of cute. You can also, uh, if you see like a daddy longlegger, one of those buggers, you can actually pin down their legs and they won't try to bite you. They'll just try to rip their own leg off to get away from you. Oh my god, that's hardcore. I think I'd rip my own leg off to get away from a daddy longlegger. <laughs> I don't know how I discovered all this as a kid. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, I love his googly eyes. It's like, nee, nee. <laughs> oh my god, Mario Galaxy 2 has this boss too. I just did it today. Why yes, did they not Galaxy have any 2. original bosses? Galaxy 2 does not have its own identity. It's just like this game, but without as good of an atmosphere. Yeah. It's like, yeah, they have. Okay, they did have like original bosses, but it's like they also had this one again. That's kind of lame. What? <laughs> I just broke his neck. <laughs> it's like, ow, I need a chiropractor. <laughs> ow. Now he's mad. He's a mad boy. He turned red, like the big bad, uh, Mandy. <laughs> big bad Mandy, what whatever, whatever her about? name was. It's not like he turned sideways, so you gotta, like, sneak up on him. Yeah. He's done. That was easier than the- I had an easier time with him than I did with the normal bug. <laughs> yeah! Who's the same as the common enemy? I know, but like, Mandy was, like, kicking your ass, but, like, <laughs> this big, hard bug -a boom boss. It was easy. Let's go. Up there. I wanna see- can I get to the top of the tree? Can I get to the top? I don't want to see any more shit down here. I'm going to the top of the tree. Oh, it's flat up here. Oh, and you like glitch. <laughs> oh, into the water. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Well, I believe this will end off this episode. Thank you all for watching. This has been Fabulous Fish. And Katatui 101. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.